Hello? Hello? What's poppin' everybody? T-Money up in the spot, here to do another update. Got a shit ton of stuff to show you guys as usual. First though, first, I must obey my thirst. On camera. Oh yeah. It's not beer, but... It tastes better than beer, in my opinion. It's fucking soda. I'm classy, I know. I'm classy like that. Alright, so, um... The majority of the stuff in this update is gonna be... Stuff that I purchased from... Through an online, like, ep cult epics, uh... Trade sell site or whatever. Facebook group. And a couple of these dudes are pretty well known for... Um... Selling good shit. Respectable sellers, really. Um, on the site, one I had purchased some stuff on, the, the stuff that I showed in my last update, the Death to Dream Blu-ray and a bunch of other cool things. Um, so he had sent me a private message uh, saying I'm going to be uploading a bunch of um, hard boxes that I have to s for sale um, here in like the next hour. So I looked out for that and um, insanity is an understatement. I went, I went crazy, I bought a bunch of shit and uh, not shit, cool shit, good shit. Hard boxes from him. Spent too much money is, is my point. But that's okay. I got good deals on him because I purchased so much. And uh, he's a cool dude. So, um, and yeah, a little story about that too when I when I get down to it. And then the other guy is also a respectable seller on through the group page. And I always miss his stuff. Like, he always has awesome deals and awesome stuff for selling. It seems like every time I see him upload something, it's like an hour too late. All the shit that I'm interested in is gone, so that's that's how that works, like, half the time for me, but what can you do? It's all good. Um, but I did manage to grab four uh, DVD titles from him, which are decent. Um, one, I don't really know why I bought it in retrospect, but whatever. They came in the mail today, both packages, or one yesterday, one today, so I've got those. And then I've got the usual, um, and I'll make it quick, the other stuff, FYE, and um, actually Screen Archives Entertainment today. And that's it. So, yeah, I don't think I have anything from Amazon. Um, so we'll jump right in. So first off, I guess I'll just do the stuff that I got from FYE. So it's actually only one. Let me see. Sorry, I should have been more organized than this, guys. All right. So it's just, yeah, five titles, I think. All right. So I picked up, um, I'm collecting this Ghost House line, and I'm not sure, actually... If this was in the last update, I don't think it was, but it's like right on that cuff of like the day after I picked it up of my last update. So Last House in the Woods, this Ghost House line, um, I'm trying to just collect it because I like it. Or the ones that I like at least. And I watched this. It's okay. Uh, it's not bad. I'm not going to spare the details of the synopsis today because I've got too much cool shit to show. So sorry about the glare, guys. Um, but yeah, so that's Last House in the Woods. Next up... Another one from another series like that, After Dark Prowl. Uh, this actually sounded pretty good. Vampire in a Warehouse movie or something like that. Um, yeah, sounded good. It's from the After Dark series. So, yeah, picked that up real cheap. FYE was buying, doing their buy two, get one for a dollar. This was actually in the cleared section at FYE for like three ninety seven. So I picked it up. Ed Gein, I remember Moods was talking about um, Steve Railsback's performance in this being pretty solid. So, yeah, scoop this up for the price. Couldn't turn it down. And uh, last up for the FYE titles, I can't remember if Terra for Tom um, said this one was good. Somebody, I think, said this was good, but really, I don't know. It seems like it's really generic and shitty and CGI infested, but I could be wrong, too. Maybe it was another zombie movie. Zombie movies, I get real mixed up these days. There's like a bunch of shit that just keeps getting pumped out, but Ving Rhames is in this, Finn Rhames and Taron Manning. 2012 Zombie Apocalypse. Probably won't watch this for like five years, but that's okay. Oh, and last up from FYE, I'm sorry. I did grab Super 8, um, cheap, like four bucks. And uh, I like this movie. I saw it when it first came out. So uh, I never had it. So I picked it up. This is the uh, Best Buy Blu-ray DVD Digital Compi Special Edition release, I think. So yeah, I'm happy to have this finally for the price. I couldn't turn it down. That's Super 8. With the slip. All right, and we will go on to... Um, so these are Screen, screen Archives Entertainment. Picked up the latest release from Scorpion, Dr. Death. 
I do have this on DVD. If anybody wants to buy it from me um, for a reasonable price, hit me up. I'm trying to get it, get rid of it. Um, yeah, because I upgraded to Blu-ray. So this is available on the Screen Archive site if you're interested. Dr. Death. And uh, two from Twilight Time, everybody's favorite company. Um, I had read some reviews on this, and it seems really fucking weird and crazy and kind of interesting and um, like a good movie to me. So Romeo is Bleeding, I had to grab it. I, I wanted it. And um, Twilight Time, is, or Screen Archives slash... Uh, uh, in conjunction with Twilight Time is doing, I think, $10 off right now. Selected titles, obviously not these because uh, Romeo's Bleeding is in the new release. It's a brand new release from Twilight Time, so you're going to pay uh, top dollar for this one. But if you're interested in that, you can go to Screen Archives and get the list. Uh, a lot of cool titles are, I think, like um, ones that I paid $30 for or $10 off right now. Like, I think, Audrey Rose, The Believers, The Other, The Vanishing, films like that. So, um, so yeah, happy to have Romeo is Bleeding. Looks good, sounds good. And the other one from Twilight Time I picked up was the Encore edition of Rollerball. I know a lot of haters, um, or people were pissed off because they do the Encore edition, which is essentially they just reprint, reprint um, titles that have gone out of print and people have paid tons of money for on secondary markets. But what can I say? I'm happy I, got, I was able to pick this up. Um, for a still expensive normal price, that is $30, that's their, you know, standard Twilight Time release price, but I'm happy to have it, Rollerball Encore Edition. So classy. Such a gimmick, everything is a fucking gimmick. Alright, so, let's see. So these next, alright, so pretty much now we're going to get into, so Eric, um, I bought four titles from him, from the cult thing, and the first one was, uh, Wuchi. And uh, to be honest, I thought this was going to be a Blu-ray, but I guess I didn't look at the picture closely enough. Not that I care. This was the one title out of the four that I kind of was like, fuck, um, I don't even know why I grabbed this, to be honest. I was just looking for another one, I think. Um, also because I thought it was uh, Scream Factory, and it is Shout Factory. Um, again, my mistake, so nothing on Eric at all. Um, but yeah, so Wuchi Demon Slayer. I'm not really a big fan of these Asian... Um, I don't want to stereotype, but, like, action, CGI-infested, like, Asian-style action horror uh, movies. I'm just not big on them, like, Hell Driver and all that shit. I mean, people like that, and I, that's cool. It's just not my particular bag. But, um, anyway, I'll stop blabbering. That's Wuchi. For the price, I, it, I don't care. It's all good. Um, really happy to have this, though. I remember Moods talking about this for a long time. And, actually, this is Blood Car, uh, the film that, um... Is about the car that runs on blood, so hence people need to be killed in order to fuel it. Sounds awesome, right up my alley. Um, for a long time, I was confusing this movie with the car, the movie The Car uh, that was recently put out on Blu-ray by Scream Factory, um, and I kept thinking that movie was this and and mixing it up. So anyway, when I saw, um, you know, after I had heard Moods talking, oh, I saw Eric post this on the site like a year later or whatever, yet the other day. And I was like, fuck, Blood Car, that's the one that I want to get. So, And this is actually a Kino Lorber release, so it's from 2007. I didn't know the company has been around that long. For all I know, they've been around since the 80s. I have no idea, really. But um, just happy to have this. Good price, also. Obviously, um, couldn't turn this one down. Really happy to have it. And this was sealed, too. It was the one in the lot that I bought from him that was sealed. So, yeah, Blood Car. Really happy to have that. And next up from... Um, the purchase from Eric is Worm. Uh, really happy to have this. This is a Synapse release. Another one I've heard a lot of good things about. Um, I think kind of like an indie type film, but very, very, like, well done. Um, and, uh, yeah, I forget what it's about. Some sort of, like, parasite or... It says, in the future, when we no, ha no longer have the ability to dream, people have turned to fantasites which are genetically engineered worm-like parasites for sleep relief, uh, delivered right to your door. These worms allow you to experience your wildest nocturnal fantasies by just dropping one in your ear canal right before bedtime. Uh, Charles, a socially awkward young man, begins using this new miracle dream aid, hoping it will bring him excitement to his mundane life and get him closer to the girl of his dreams. Soon things squirm out of control for Charles and his friends, when the government bans the product and people seek the addictive 
fantasites through underground illegal means. A fascinating, genre-bending sci-fi thriller, Worm, is an outstanding independent production that took film festivals by storm. Originally conceived as a short for Nashville's 48 Film Hour Project, also included as an extra on release, this feature-length version was developed without a written script, and the actors improvised their dialogue during filming. So yeah, sorry, I had to read that one to you guys, because it is really interesting, and um, really happy to have this finally, and I, again, I got all these movies for cheap, so under 10 bucks a piece, I think, so yeah. Happy to have that, happy to, excited to watch that. And last up, probably the one I'm most excited about from um, my purchase from him is the Johnsons. I got this for like, I don't even remember, under 10 bucks, I think. Um, this movie goes for like 35 bucks on Amazon right now. And the price doesn't matter, it's just, it's a, it's a original Anchor Bay release, and fucked up movie, uh, I've wanted to see it for a long time, so I'm really happy to have this, and to be able to score it for that cheap is awesome. So yeah, those are the pickups I got from, from Eric, and now we'll get into, um, the ones I picked up from my other buddy Chad, who was selling the hard boxes. So, where to begin? Um, I think I got everything. My apologies if I if I missed one, because um, I I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hard boxes in total. Um, I had picked up from him. So let's see here. Am I out of my um? Anybody? She. All right. So first up, and uh, don't mind the stickers. I've got it in a cellophane wrap. Uh, we have Oasis of the Zombies. These are all like 84 films and um, X-rated cinema, I think it is. or I can't remember how they pronounce that, but the logo with the X, as you can see right there. Um, so these are well-known hard box companies from Germany. So <laughs> I've never seen this film. This is a film from, is it um, Jess Franco? Um, so yeah, really happy to have this. I'm probably going to grab the Redemption film because I bought these hard boxes for collector purposes. Uh, my intention isn't to watch them, just to collect them because um, I think hard boxes are cool and I want to start collecting them more. So yeah, so that's uh, Oasis of the Zombies. You can kind of just pull it out there and you can get a better look at, at it. But yeah. And let's see. So next up we have... So this is the alternate title for Popcorn, and uh, funny story, my buddy Todd, um, Toddy Walnuts, I'm sure a lot of you guys know uh, from his channel, um, it turns out he actually purchased the, uh, because Chad was selling, he had two, two versions of the, of the film Popcorn on Hardbox, he had Skinner and Popcorn, and um, I chose, coincidentally, I chose Skinner because, so you can see the other Popcorn logo on the back right there, see that, that picture of the woman or the girl, or whatever, you guys probably know from the, uh, from the regular popcorn DVD art, um, cover art, so yeah, but I really like this Skinner, the alternate title, and I think it's a badass, um, I can't pull these out because I have this, these ones, like, double wrapped in large cellophane, so I'm not gonna pull them out, it's just the disc in there anyway, so you're not missing much, but, um, yeah, so I just really dug this cover art here, I've seen this before, but, um, these are, like, impossible to get to. So this is number 69, as you can see on the bottom there. Or Kenya. It's kind of hard to focus, but it doesn't matter. But, yeah, um, limited 84 edition. So really happy to have this. Still waiting for Synapse to release theirs um, so I can watch it. But for collective purposes, very happy to have this. I wish I could have grabbed that popcorn one, too. Todd, you fucker. You the man, Todd. I'm happy. I think it's funny too, small world man, we both ended up grabbing um, things from the same seller. Who is the man too by the way, shout out to you Chad, I really appreciate everything you did, the the um, the deals you gave me man are awesome, fast shipping, everything came in excellent condition, um, so I couldn't be happier. So these next two are probably, um, well I'll, I'll save them for second to last because they're my personal favorites. Um, because I asked him, I'll tell you in a sec, actually. So, so next up is pretty awesome here. You guys are probably familiar with the film The Monster Squad. Um, I went crazy and bought the box set of har the hard box set of uh, Monster Squad, which is all four films 
it's actually the film, I'm sorry, so it's it's the film four times over with all four alternate covers. So you have, first you have this cover art. This is a little, um, um, what do you call it, excessive, if you don't mind me saying myself. I mean, I'm the one who purchased this, but I didn't realize really what I was doing here, but I'm happy, I'm really happy to have this. So this is the first one, It's but it's like the same film four times, so... You, I'm, and I'm not like an uber fan of this movie, so like, honestly, um, it's cool. The Monster Squad. So that's the first uh, cover art. And we have the Monster Squad, the second cover art, which is pretty awesome. And these are all in mint condition, too. I'm very happy. The backs are actually all the same. So it just says Remastered Uncut Edition. And it's all in German, so I can't, um, I can't tell you what it says, but Sheepazoid Design, Taft Entertainment, um, so yeah, that's the second cover, that's one of my favorites, actually, I really like that. Let's see here. Okay, and the third... <laughs> it says Monster Busters. That's the third cover title.